welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be taking you along and showing you the entire process of my craft room makeover. This has been a highly requested video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. First, I wanted to show you an overview of how my craft room corner looked like before. As you can tell, my supplies were all over the place and I definitely needed a better organization system. I began by removing these frames from the walls as well as the supplies I had hanging from my pegboard. So one day, I happened to stumble upon all of these storage boxes at my local craft store. I was so excited because they were all on clearance and marked down to a really good price. The larger boxes were all under $2 each and the smaller ones were about 75 cents which was a crazy good deal. I thought they would be perfect to use as storage for my craft room so I purchased the ones that matched with my theme. Don't worry, I didn't take them all, they had a lot of other ones left. Then I made a quick stop at Lowe's to purchase another pegboard. My plan was to extend the one I already had for more storage. When I got home, I spray painted it white so it matched with my other pegboard. Then my dad helped me screw it onto my wall. Next, I decided my wall looked very boring, but I also didn't want to spend a lot of money on expensive wallpaper. So I created my own wallpaper decals with the help of gold permanent vinyl and my Cricut machine. I found an image of a tropical leaf and monstera plant on Cricut Design Space. It was very simple, I just placed the vinyl onto my mat and printed it out. I made sure to print enough to fill the space I wanted to cover. This part was actually very therapeutic. I weeded all of the images. I ended up printing about eight of each design. Next, I cut a piece of transfer tape large enough to cover the designs. Then I began to apply them on my wall with the help of a scraper. I tried to arrange them by spreading them out throughout the wall. Also, I only wanted to cover the bottom part underneath the pegboard so it wouldn't look too overwhelming with the decor. Monstera plants are my favorite, so I thought this was a great way to incorporate them into my creative space. I thought it would be fun to add some greenery around the pegboards to add color. Then I created some quick wooden pegboard shelves with the help of this wood stain and 6 inch wood pieces. It was super easy, I just sprayed the wood pieces and rubbed the color with a paper towel. This helped them have a more vintage look. This is how they look like once they were dry, then I took these pegboard hooks and spray painted them gold to match my theme. I also spray painted these paper flowers I made a while back. Once they were completely dry, I placed the hooks and the wooden shelves on the pegboards. I got these plastic jars from Michaels. They sell them in different sizes, which I thought it would be perfect to store my small craft supplies like glitter, hot glue sticks, keychains, and things like that.
I purchased this vinyl rack to store all of my vinyl rolls. Also, I will have the links to everything I've shown in the description box in case you are interested in anything. I also added this paper towel pegboard hook which is perfect to store your transfer tape. So I saw this really cute idea on Pinterest and I wanted to recreate it. I took some paint brushes and painted the wood part with different colors. I make the match with my colored thread to make it eye appealing since they will be used as decor. I continue adding the rest of my supplies on the pegboard. I got this cube organizer shelf from Target to have extra storage. I also got these yellow storage bins to go along with it. I used them to store all of my yarn and other random supplies. My Cricut Easy Press fit perfectly on the cubbies, which I love how convenient it was. I was also able to place my Cricut on top. It fit just perfectly. I used these boxes to store my sticker making supplies and vinyl scraps. I also got these clear blue boxes from Michaels to store all of my HTV and vinyl sheets. Next, I gave my sewing machine a quick makeover. I took some permanent vinyl scraps and this flower punch. I simply punched out a bunch of different colored flowers and placed them all around the sewing machine. I found this really cool brush organizer at Dollar Tree, which also works as a great tool organizer. I put it together and spray painted it gold. Lastly, I got letters that spell DIYholic and painted them with white acrylic paint. I placed the letters and flowers on my wall with the help of mounting tape.
To tie everything off, I got this really cool lamp for my desk as well as this yellow chair. I love how everything turned out. I feel like my creative space finally feels like me. I am super excited to create many more projects here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next week with a new DIY. When the sun